Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Welcome back and today we're going to have a little fun. We're going to be doing the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and the spin. And thank you Kathy for this shirt. I absolutely love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So today I already have my canvas flooded with, um, it's my Color Place from Walmart house paint white parenthesis satin nothing in it no silicone no glue no water nothing except i put uh some of the um orange golden fluid acrylic in it and i didn't want it real orangey i made it more like a coral color today coral orangey maybe so oh, i haven't good. done that color in a while for my base so i thought ah, why not and my colors that i'm using today for my drizzle is my Love Struck Pigment by Primary Elements, Mango Mamba Primary Elements. This is Primary Magenta by Amsterdam. This little piggy is Lakeside, and you can uh, get these little piggy pigments at fluidart.com. Lemon Drop uh, Primary Elements. This is Paroli Orange golden fluid and that's the color of it but however when i mixed it with my paint i wanted it a lot lighter so you can see the difference that you get oh that's what you actually use to get correct that color okay correct. cool next is jasmine by primary elements and the next one is this little piggy nightfall now when you say a primary elements pigment, you're, it's, that's color, color art, art correct? correct? Okay. Color right. art is primary element pigments. Okay. This little piggy is by the Sheely, Sheely and uh, like I said, you can get those at thefluidart.com. And then, do we have that's any okay. other one here? I just wanted to no, make sure that. we don't. We don't, the only other pigment is the Arteza and that's not no, included today. No, you use Pearl X also. Oh, Pearl X, yeah. yeah, I don't have either one of those in this today. I was going to do a bloom, but then I decided, yeah, I'm going to do my swipe roo and everything. Get my little swipe roo shirt on from Kathy, and away I'm going to go. So our first color is Love Struck. This is a pigment. So all these colors that Kathy uh, is using today all have the same recipe, and that's in video 248, and I will have a direct link to that video. And uh, that recipe is used for drizzles, swipes, and blooms. I almost said wreck and spin. Oh my goodness. I think since it's getting warmer here again, my brain is getting fried here in Arizona. <laughs> hey, uh, everybody, when you leave me a comment, let's, uh, let's just have a little fun and see where everybody's from. I think that would be fun to see you know, if some people are living by each other. Or... So in the comments, just add where you're from. I'm from Glendale, Arizona. Originally from Illinois though. Born and raised in Illinois. Phil and I were both born and raised in Illinois. Okay, Mango Mamba. This is primary element pigment. So yeah, we're having a little fun here today. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. We're, we're getting closer to the 10,000. I'm getting excited, everybody. It's all happening because of you. I love all of you, and thank you for supporting Phil and I. We really appreciate every single one of you. We love all of your comments. Um, some... <laughs> Better than others sometimes. Oh, no, all the comments. Uh, well, you always get one or two out of the thousands that uh, you do are kind of out there, but um, that's okay. You just go on. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But yeah, but thank We're you, here everyone. To please the people that the people that uh, like us and enjoy our videos. That's what we're here for. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I do this out of the kindness of my heart because I love painting. Um, I love teaching. And I hope that you can learn. 
And I, like I always say, you know what? Don't be afraid to contact me. Because if I can help you, I will help you. Yeah, we had a couple of recent questions about uh, the cracking on, uh, as, the, as the painting dries, they were getting cracking. And how do you solve that? Well, what happens is if there's too much paint left on, it's going to crack. So what you do is you get either a cardboard box or like a, a bin, a plastic bin, and just cover, cover your paintings. And you'll be amazed, you won't have any cracking. Yeah, I guess it slows the drying process Correct. down and it, it it dries more evenly throughout. And yeah, it really has, does solve It works because the here, um, I have to cover mine because of how hot it is a lot of times. And uh, you will get no cracking. I promise well, you, you'll get I, no cracking. I don't know if we can well, say it, 100% no cracking, but it seems to have done wonders it for, really helps because yeah. um it, and it depends where you live too yeah, I, think I mean so. it the has humidity a, yeah and so forth yeah. has a lot to do where you live this is a lemon drop the last one was lakeside by this little piggy lemon drop <laughs> they're using a lot of colors today that's that's going to be quite the uh, drizzle you have on there and that's what you want, though. We shall see, Phil. Okay, this is our Paroli Orange. Kathy does have an Etsy shop and a Redbubble shop, and I'll have direct links to those shops. Uh, of course, her Etsy shop contains all her original art, and her Redbubble shop contains her art images on about 60 different products that you can have those images uh, imprinted on. And it's a, it's just a fun site to really peruse around, pick an image and see all the different ways it can go on products. And uh, Phil uploaded uh, some links uh, of the products that I use on our video now at the end. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, You'll see what, how many did you, how many do you well, really have on there? Uh, well, I call them, I don't know how many are on there, but I call them your preferred product links. Mm -hmm. And that also has a link to get a, the puppy pool, uh, the cake spinner that you use, uh, different um, paints and pigments and so forth, and just uh, just the products that you, that you use and like. So you can check that out too. And I do have... Um, a group on Facebook and it's called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Join us. I mean, I don't I don't exactly know how many we have already. Well, well, you know, we just started it. There's a couple hundred on there, but it's a great place for you to post what you've um, done in paint pouring. Your creations. Yeah, your creations. All different types where we'd really love to have you post on the site and that way you can, you know, we can take a look at it, give you some ideas and suggestions. Yeah, join us. I mean, just go on uh, Facebook and put in Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller and you'll come up to our group and uh, ask to be, you know, ask to join. I'm the admin, so of course I'm going to let you <laughs> right. join. And you can post links on our group too. We do not Correct. have any restrictions on posting links. Of mm -hmm. course, everybody has to be courteous and, and constructive, um, but uh, we, welcome, we welcome you. There is no bullying. Like they say, I had to wipe my nose because my allergies are flared up again. Okay, you've got the drizzle I got the mishmash. I, know, yeah. I got the drizzle. Now I just have to... Uh, and this is just what you want. All the different colors. I just have to pop some all bubbles. All over the canvas. Because I can see some big bubbles. And what that will result in is a lot of different colored cells once we get to the spinning stage. The swiping. Well, the swiping will and create the, the cells, yes. And the wrecking, Phil. <laughs> we have that four-stage process, remember? Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay, I think I got them all. All righty, people. Where am I going? Okay. So, now I'm going to get my black magic, you know, cell activator down here. And, and we're going to start swiping. And that is simply Amsterdam Black Paint and Floetrol. Correct. She's 
She's using black as her cell activator color today, but you can use any color you want, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any color cell activator will work. You don't. I like black because I just think it brings out the beauty of the colors, but that's just my preference. Well, especially when you have something drizzled like this with all those different colors, uh, black seems to work best in outlining all the different colors. Yeah, see? Right. The colors come up instantaneously, all different colors. Now, for those of you who are new, um, and she needs some more cell activator. Go on. Um, Kathy simply uses playing cards yes, as I do. her swiping tool. And make sure you wipe them off after every time. Yeah, I'm going to explain that. So she puts some of the cell activator on the card and lightly swipes over the drizzle paint. You want to swipe very lightly and look instantaneously. You're getting tons of cells, different colors. Then Kathy wipes the card. You always want a clean card to do the swiping. And she'll use a different part of the card also. Ooh, there's going to be some beautiful colors in here. Yes. You're getting lots really and lots of colored cells. And you just swipe it light. Just lightly. If you go down too far, you're going to go down to the base, and that's what you don't want to do. I think basically you're just kind of placing the card on the surface till it touches the surface, and then swiping. Mm -hmm. Is that yep. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yep, sure is. I should really go out to the casino and get their old playing cards that they don't <laughs> use anymore. Because I think they but, do give them to you for well, free if the, you live by a casino. The casinos casino. have been shut down pretty much, so. Yeah. Um, but. I don't want to. You go through a lot of playing cards, that's for sure. I do. But you can swipe with, you know, anything that has. Just go like to uh, Walmart or and get those uh, paint uh, things, uh, what? color things, how, that you have oh, different color You're talking paint. about, okay, you, uh, where you try to pick out the paint colors? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because those work. <laughs> well, anything that is semi-rigid. You don't want something too flimsy. No. And you don't want something too, too stiff. Hard. Because uh, too stiff will dig too deep into the paint. Yeah, if you have something really stiff, be very, very careful. Ooh, I think this is going to look really pretty. I'm liking all the colors, that's for sure. I mean, you've got a lot of, there was a lot of nice bright colors that you put on. And as you can see, they're all showing up in different areas. They really are, which is cool. It's what we're looking for, people. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what you want in this technique if you're looking to have a very colorful painting with a lot of different colored cells. Got one more over here. Okay. Hey, we didn't even hardly get any rivers today. No. I'm really getting excited now. Now, what Kathy means by rivers is sometimes uh, if you don't... Pl Swipe right next to the last swipe. It could be like right here. Like this sort of black area is sort of similar to a river. And if you don't like it, you just simply swipe over it again with some more yeah. cell activator. So that's how it goes. Now you don't have to use 10, 11 colors like Kathy uses. <laughs> if you want a theme, a color theme to your painting, uh, you can do three or four colors of that color theme. Still get the result of a lot of different cells but in simply those colors. And that'll give you a more overall uh, theme of that color for the I had final a, result. Um, I had a comment where it was really kind of funny because she said, she put oh my G in capital letters <laughs> and said, are you all right? And I'm thinking, well, I think I am. She goes, you only used four colors and you always use at least 50. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh my gosh, that is so funny. But yeah, I do use a lot of colors. You do. 
Well, I'm a very colorful she person. She has a lot to choose from, as you can see on the table. So she makes up a ton of colors, and then and those are all my pigments over there. Yes. And I mean, there's more tubes of paint over there. And I mean, I just oh my god, they're all over. So the drizzle okay. and the swipe is done. Correct. And now Kathy's going to do. I'm going to do some wrecking. Some wrecking. People are going to go. Don't wreck it. Let us see without it being wrecked. No, I got to wreck it. Okay, how do I want to wreck this? Well, you, you know, you brought that up. You don't really have to wreck it. No, I could spin this right I now. I know, but wrecking does add, I feel, some interest throughout the painting. It does. As long as you don't overdo it. And it brings up your base a little bit, right. too. Yes, so here Which is nice. the wrecking lines. One of the wrecking lines Kathy just did. It's nice and frilly and wispy. And it creates some interest through the different colors. And you want to um, wipe your stick off or whatever you're using after every time. Okay, I think I'm going to go here or maybe right here and here. Okay. Did you want to do one on this end, like you did on that end across? I'm just asking. I'm, okay. not, saying, I'm not saying sure. you should. Sure, why not? It's up to you. Yeah. No. All right. The more the merrier. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Wow. Let's take a little tour through here. As you can see, the cells are growing a little bit, which is what you want. And actually the spin stage of this technique will expand the cells and their wrecking lines. Kathy is adding a few more little wrecking lines to the composition. composition. I know there's probably some people going, stop, stop. <laughs> we do have some discount links in the description box because Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Element Pigments and their products, Arteza Paints and their products, and KS Resin. And so you can save some uh, real nice money by uh, using the links in our description box. Okay. I'm just making these a little bit different for a change. I'm giving them like a little fish hook. Yes. I think that love struck is the color that is predominant in this. Which well, is yeah, fine. Because, I love that color. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorites. All right. So now, Abra Cadabra. Let's see what we're going to get here. Okay, I have to agree with you, Phil. I, we're not going to, you know, have a war today over the color. That's going to be the most dominant. Although I did win the other day. Hey. Okay, abracadabra. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we're going to do. Remember not too long. I know. I would... Well, this isn't a bloom, so it's not going to go anywhere. Well, I, think, <gasps> I still think it has a little. Oh, wow. Yes, holy cow. Oh, this is going to be pretty, Phil. Yeah. I, I can do. see it already. <laughs> oh, people. Oh, wow. Look at this. <gasps> this is beautiful. Oh, is this ever pretty? Yeah, Holy all those moly. Are coming through super nice. We have, you can see every single color. Right. Oh my goodness. And actually, the love struck isn't as predominant now uh -huh. that you spun it. No, it isn't. And you can look how it expanded the cells, and the cells retain their color, and the black <laughs> cell activator outlines the different colors just very, very nicely. And look, by me doing that, see how they 
on these, remember? Yes, yes. The, the, That's so cool. Those are the wrecking lines, and look how they expanded. Very, very cool how that expanded there. Let's take a look up in here. Uh, getting really nice cell construction. Oh, wow. Is this ever so pretty? So. Oh, my goodness sakes. It was really nice. I do want to mention on the spin again. Uh, one thing we discovered is when you spin, you want to spin both ways. But you don't want to spin the first way so hard and so long that it moves all the paint, say, to one side. Correct. Because when you spin the other way, there's not enough to get it all the way to the other side. So what Kathy has learned through experience is uh, spin a little bit one way, spin a little bit another way, and then go from there. See what you have to do. Correct. And if there's any, like, tiny bubbles, you can just poke them, and they'll be fine. But this is beautiful. Holy I cow, I'm so one. excited. So now you know that um, how I know to do the spinning. Spinning correctly. <laughs> hey, that's right. Don't spin too fast any one way. Right. Um, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Share it. Like I said, um, I'm here to help everybody. Uh, if you have any pigments and paint you can combine them you they don't have to be separate you can combine them and like i said if you have pigments you want to i had some uh, questions if you have pigments you have to dilute them with some water if you have paint you have to use the josanja varnish that's the way to dilute them if they get too thick for sitting a couple days so just to go over that again pigments is water paint is varnish josanja varnish that, that's only though if they dried out so um well it's not even if they're dried out if they like sit for a couple days they usually a lot of times they thicken up oh okay so okay. you just All thin right. it with that to the, your consistency that you're norm you're used to okay but anyways please subscribe to our channel um we're trying to hit ten thousand. we're well on our way um tell your friends and thank you if you are a subscriber. We love all of you. And remember in the comments, let me know where everybody's from. Um, like I said, Phil and I are from Glendale, Arizona now. We're back in Illinois. We moved from Illinois three years ago. So until the next time, everybody, I will see you later. Stay healthy. Stay well. See you later, alligators. Bye. we got to take another look at this because this is so super colorful. It's beautiful. This is very, very beautiful. Colorful.